Hi everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 1. Hey, look, you can see me. Uh, turn on the webcam, we'll see. Hey, some people seem to like the webcam, some people seem to not like the webcam. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I just got back from TwitchCon, so uh, that's why I haven't posted a video in a while. But hey, excited to be back and uh, got some fun stuff coming for the channel. So if you're excited for seeing some other things, I will not say what those things are quite yet. Uh, hey. You know what? Keep an eye out. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely, definitely should do that. But hey, last episode, we uh, we finished our first delve into the Warrens and we didn't die. So that's good. That's that's successful. I appreciate not dying. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get our bearings here with what we've got going on. So at here at the Hamlet, I do appreciate everybody who's kind of been giving me some advice. I've got some things that people are telling me to focus on. I think big things I'm going to be focusing on are going to be um, getting cost reduction on the guild and the blacksmith is going to be a good one, as well as probably upgrading the stagecoach a little bit to increase our roster and whatnot. Uh, as I think that that's, you know, right now we're, we're already kind of limited and we don't want to be limited because we have a flag here um, and we also have like an antiquarian and another healer and all this fun stuff that we definitely would like. Um, one thing I am probably just going to go ahead and do is go through our heroes quickly and just, I think it's time, I think we need to get rid of some heroes. I think we're, we, we don't want to invest, um, you know, too much into heroes that are going to cause us problems. Um, so if there's anybody who has any like seriously uh, negative things, like just a lot of stress or um, issues or whatever the case is, we'll probably go ahead and get rid of them. Though who knows, there might, there might not really be any, like, cl like a clumsy hero is probably not something I really care about. Um, or we could just increase our roster size, but that is something I need to keep in mind. One thing I, I will say is the Spotted Fever, um, Off Guard, I, I think we're going to end up getting rid. The problem is, I think we've already spent money upgrading this, and this is where, like, Sunk Cost Fallacy comes into play, right? It's like, I've already spent money upgrading this Houndmaster. Is it just better to get rid of them because of the disease? Do I just cure the disease? Um, what do I do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our... Uh, barrack size though so that we can hire on a few more people I definitely want another Vestal I would definitely like the Antiquarian um, I think we already have quite a few Houndmasters so unless this one is really good uh, no penalty when walking backwards I, I don't I don't think we take this one um, another uh, healer could be good and probably is going to be good because we're almost always going to want some form of healing on our team and having multiple healers is definitely a good option, I think. So I think we're going to take him, and then I think we'll take the flag the as well. One must um, assuming that he's nothing terrible. More healing received from Weird Reconstruction. He has Punish. He has Reign of Sorrows. Uh, Redeem, uh, which allows him to heal himself and somebody else. And then he has Suffer, which clears Blight or takes Blight Bleed and uh, a mark and then gives him he takes less stress and he has additional you know death blow resist but i think we'll take the flag just because there it's good to have him you know blood. there's Although power in the blood the to, to pay the price. um and then yeah let's take a look do we have any money to afford i think we used up some of our items here so i can't afford an upgrade here what about here uh reduces cost i only need four uh f four deeds for this i think i can definitely do that right um let's see if i trade in these wow i can't get anything for those what do i need a four so i don't know if that's a good trade but we'll take it for now i just want to get the upgrade here In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm Reducing our cost is going to be is pretty good for us, for sure. This one, I don't think we're going to be able to get quite yet. So we're, we're gonna, our focus is going to be crests, portraits, and then uh, crests and D. So everything, <laughs> everything but busts, really, is what we're looking at there. The other thing I need to be cognizant of is going to be our camping skills, something I definitely have not 
focused on in the past. I kind of always been like, ah, I don't need to worry about camping skills. But if we want to go in medium dungeons and higher, which we definitely do, then hey, we're gonna need we're gonna need those camping skills. They're kind of important. Um, other than that, let's take a look. Does anybody really need like a a good stress heal? Um, I don't think so. We we still have not gotten a jester, which is upsetting. But we do have stress healers uh, in the form of Houndmasters and um, a Crusader. Uh, just just not amazing. But I think we probably ought to take on a medium dungeon. Not a yeah, an, an apprentice dungeon medium length, right? Yeah, not medium difficulty, which would be veteran, right? So. I don't think there's any. I'm going to avoid the courtyard for pretty much as long as we really can um, until I'm feeling much stronger. Because the thing is, once we open the courtyard, it, it we unleash it, right? We can start getting the curse, the Crimson Curse. We can start getting uh, courtyard enemies spawning in regular dungeons, I do believe. Um, and I don't really want to do that quite yet. So I think this medium dungeon is probably a good bet. 4,500 gold. We could go for like a gold hunting mission. We could take an antiquarian with us and try to like stack up on some gold. Get some get some early gold missions going. Never stab, fortifying vapors, invigorating vapors, and protect me. This is a pretty good start for her to get. Now, the thing is, we want to make sure that if we do take her, we don't take anybody who has any interaction quirks, right? She does have compulsive, which I'm not happy about. I'm on a, I'm almost tempted to just not take her quite yet and to cure the compulsive. As expensive as it would be, um, it's a problem, right, on her. I'm gonna do it. I, right now, she's our only antiquarian. I definitely need to use her at some point, but right now, I think we can go without it and just focus on focus on uh, getting some people leveled up. Now, we got rid of the imposter syndrome on Neuer's here, so I think we can take her. The accuracy debuff is crappy, but I, we can work around the accuracy debuff. Um, and we can go ahead and increase uh, her armor and stuff, which would be good for us. Um, do we not have like a... We do have a Vestal that's higher rank, so... Just making sure we don't have anything that's going to be an issue. Fear of mankind could definitely be a bit of a pro like minus accuracy against humans. There will definitely be humans in this dungeon, so she's gonna have a really hard time hitting anybody who is a human. Like nigh impossible to hit human. Not 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 impossible, but difficult. I guess we'll suffer it. We'll deal with it. Um. I don't want Reynold to level up to level three quite yet. Um, because if, if he levels up to level three, then we can't use him um, like on the courtyard mission or something. And I kind of want to keep our levels down for now. Um, I may even just not take Noyers is a problem right now. I'm really considering getting rid of Noyers. Um, but we'll see. Sniper shot, sniper's mark, I don't really care about. Bola is fine, it can knock targets back, which is good. Rallying and flare killers, marks and clear stuns, which can be very good for us. Uh, sure, but we'll probably uh, swap them around, right? Um, we can we can probably go ahead and uh, go ahead and get rid of like a hand of light, and we'll give her dazzling light, which is generally a better ability for her. Um, so that way she can actually stun, which gives her some utility. Um, so we've got a healer. What about stress healer? We don't have one, but we can add one if we go ahead and remove target whistle for Cry Havoc. Uh, additional healing received, which means his Lick Wounds will give him additional healing. And then we could go ahead and take a... Uh, take her fortunate thing is he can't do cry havoc from that position right so <laughs> unless we wanted to run a uh we could we could run her in rank three right no she can't she can't do her healing there ah positioning man positioning is rough I'm trying. I think I'm trying too hard to fill too many roles. Is what I'm trying to do. I may just have to go with, like without a stress healer for now, or um, or I could just do this and take like a uh, 
a rank three occultist, which I guess would work just fine. And then I need somebody up front, which this can definitely work. Because he, he can swap between the front two ranks just fine. I don't really need Expose. Um, Impale would probably be a better, better option here. But we don't want to spend too much money on upgrading everybody here. But I think this is a decent team. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's just go ahead and start getting uh, some abilities here. Like, I'd rather have Impale. Uh, I think he's good. Is there something I would rather have? Then this Battlefield Medicine over Sniper's Mark would probably be better, just to have that additional healing option. And then I would like Cry Havoc as well. And then can we... We can't upgrade anybody's armor here, right? We're going to go into a medium dungeon with this team, which is a little rough, but I think we can handle it. Uh, let's go ahead and switch abilities. So, got that. Uh, he's all good. Let's do this. And this. All right. Medium dungeon. We're getting the additional dodge item on the Houndmaster. This kind of makes him like a front rank Houndmaster. You want to be using like Blackjack instead of his ranged abilities, but it's fine. All right. Um, I'm going to take two stacks of food, two stacks of torches, because this is a medium dungeon. Three shovels. Again, this is where money is going to be a bit of a problem. I haven't really checked our camping skills. Um, it's basically if we unlock them, we get a fourth skill, right? Um... I guess the only thing before I do this, I wish that that would save stuff, but we we should probably go ahead and at least make sure that we have a uh, prevent nighttime ambush ability. Now that should automatically have it. Then yeah, they're expensive camping skills. That's that's the main problem I have with them. Like we're we're already like running low on money here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're like down to five thousand, so we're gonna. Money is probably going to be our focus more than anything here. I'll take one key. Uh, we've got shovels, food, torches. I'm not taking laudanum. I'm obviously not taking the blood. Uh, we have a bandage. We'll take one more. And I'll take a holy water just in case. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Let's get into it. Let's see how this goes. First medium dungeon. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I, again, I've, I've started running into the issue already where, like, oh, money is low. <laughs> that is a, a reality we have to deal with. Oh, this is not 100% of room battles. Of our noble line. Man, the unfortunate reality is here is we are forced to backtrack. Now, there's less backtracking if we go down this way, right? Because then we only really have to do this pit instead of the entire thing. So I guess we'll just go this way first. Probably just going to avoid touching any of this stuff until we come back. We're going to have to go back this way. Good surprise. Really rough team to get, for sure. Okay. Um. Okay, he's dead. That's fantastic. Okay, good. We got rid of both stress casters right away, so that's awesome. Unfortunate crit. That was a that was a heavy hit. Look at that. Goddamn. Over half the health gone in uh, in one foul swoop there. Um. Uh. They both still have actions. Do this for the kill. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Good dodge. Thank you, bud. Uh, Cry Havoc here. Go ahead and pull him. He's much less useful now. Like, he won't really be able to do much, so we're just going to Cry Havoc again. Um, 
Um... Lots of stress coming off here. That's probably gonna kill. I'd like to get a heal. This might count as a stall though, unfortunately. That's a block. Amazing. And yeah, we can heal here. The wounds of war can be healed. Yeah, so that that's saying that this is a stall now, so we, we have to go ahead and kill. This momentum. Push on yeah, we're, we're leaving these end. items here, so that way when I come back, they, they nothing else will spawn in those spots. Like, a hunger tile won't spawn there, and or, like, a fight won't spawn there kind of thing. Um, okay, I think you can use holy water on this. I can't remember, though. Um... Okay, so the focus is going to be the back rows, for sure. Wow. Alright. <laughs> could use this dog treat. Oh my god. Okay, at least got rid of one. That was a really unfortunate, like, hit that we got there. Yeah. Good dodge. Fantastic. Bleed is fine. Um, we'll just go ahead and use him for healing here. Another fantastic dodge. Yeah, I ain't no way she's dodging that. That's 16 stress. It takes me so long to heal any amount of stress with this team. Cultist. He's feeling it. Good heal, though. Did bleed himself, though, which is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to have to just work on stress where we can. The Cultist is really getting the, uh, the blunt of this, isn't he? Yeesh. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Um, I wish this cured bleeding. I feel like it should cure as a bandage. Like, that's his job, right? That count as a stall round? I guess it did. Which is unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna hit with somebody, but... I guess we'll have to hit here. Yeah, I wish just go for the kill. I'm going to drop the journal page. Can be um, I cannot remember what happens here. Ah, removes the quirk. Oh, who would I, who should I have actually used that on? Honestly, getting rid of clumsy, not a bad, not a bad call. We do have a camp. We should remember that. Generally, my goal would be to get through this part of the dungeon. Uh, the thing is, we didn't scout this. We don't know if that's a room fight, but we know that we can skip this hallway now, which is good. We can come to it if we if we want the extra loot, but good surprise there. We get the bleed, fantastic. And unfortunate that dodge. Oh, all right, come on, lady. <laughs> and she lives. Ah. Uh. Two dodges in a row, and now we're up to over 54% stress. Or 54 stress, not percent. I guess it technically is the equivalent of percent, though. I will say, one thing I really, really miss from Darkest Dungeon 2 is the turn order indicator. 
I know that's like part of the fun of this in a way, but it's not something I really enjoy. <laughs> Ugh, we're feeling it now. I may need to camp here soon. Good heals, though. Great crit. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we're going to stress heal here. What's his bleed up to now? Three damage, which is a lot. Another crit. All right. Well, we're managing stress. We only have a lot of stress on one person right now, so that's not terrible. Um, but we should definitely get rid of that bleed. One damage for one round is really not worth it. Uh, I'll go ahead and torch up here. Yeah, and this will be loot. That'll be loot. So um, we know if we can come back and get that. We should definitely try to camp before we get into this hallway then. Books I'm not going to interact with. And we know it will be loot, so we can probably actually snuff the torch if we really wanted to. All right, go for it, bud. All right, fantastic. And then he just gets stressed immediately again. Hopefully we get a scout here. We do. All right, so we did have to go this way. That's good. Another good bit of stress healing there. Fantastic. Um... Yeah, we can take that torch on the way back. How are we doing on torches? Uh, we're okay. We have two more. We know there's one over here and one back there as well, so not super worried about it. Um, everybody in position. We're good. Let's go for it. All right. Hope we can get the hit. They get the stun. Fantastic. Three is fine. That is not a problem hit. Uh, yeah, we should go for hitting her. I wish she could do more damage doing that, but that's fine. I love this game. Accuracy is very fun. And there's stressful incantation. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we got rid of her. That's good. Uh, so we can go ahead and pull this guy. And hit him down. Yeah, he's going to resist the bleed. That's just guaranteed. Good crit. We love that. Nice stress heal. Good dodge. All right, we're definitely going to want to go for the heal here. And a crit heal. Fantastic. Resist the bleed, too. So that's even better. Uh, do the Adder's Kiss here. Yeah, Cultus is definitely feeling a little rough for wear now. I'll probably use bandages on him just to uh, go ahead and stress heal. There we go. Nice block. This will increase his healing received, which will be good. Unfortunate miss. Four heal there, very nice. He's actually feeling pretty good, so I don't need to really worry about healing him right now. Another amazing block. It's a lot of damage that we're just uh, not having to take, which is nice. Yeah, I knew that was going to go into him. He's going to get... Ooh, or he's going to dodge. Even better. You'll love to see it. All right, he's taking three damage here. Can we kill here? That might be a good stress heal as well. Nice. 
cry havoc again. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and heal him. Take advantage of that plus 40% healing received. Oof! Oh, that's so much stress from one hit. It's kind of crazy. Like, ah. Okay, well, we crit, so. I think she took 13 stress from that, which is just a lot. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Um. Do we camp here? Uh. You know what? Let's just get rid of the bleed. Take the emerald. And then I think we're going to camp here, probably. Because um, then we can open up some inventory slots for these curios here by taking, by going for the camp. So, oop, we did spawn a fight, so. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Good surprise. Fantastic. Alright. Got him dead. And now we can stress heal with him for the entire fight. Amazing. I love my dodgy occultist. Okay, I don't love him as much now, but we're working on it. He did resist everything there, which is good. And again with the resist, so pretty happy with that. Okay, there you go. There's a cultist doing what he does best. Unfortunate no kill there. The blood quickens. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go for a kill here. She's now taking a lot of damage and bleed. Yeah, four dot is no joke, so. Try to stall, I guess. zero stress there so I mean, we are managing our stress not amazingly but we are doing it success so right, i'm not gonna worry about the torchlight unless we see another fight spawn in here really a trick of the light uh this was books so i don't really care about this in fact i might actually go through and not camp until we get maybe back up to here because i kind of want to snuff the torch actually and uh get as much loot as we can out of these torch out of these things and then we'll camp and we'll get full torchlight out of it so um and you guys thankfully told me how to do this, so boom boom boom. Taros may I... indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Um using a shovel will give us uh curios, and using a key will give us loot. I want loot right now, like gold. I'm gonna use the gold. Um I'm taking over the deeds right now. Uh, using holy water on this, which I don't have. Shovel will not do anything good for us, so we don't want to use the shovel. Unfortunately, I thought I had holy water. Did we already use it? Did we drop it? Maybe I don't know. I don't think you, I think if you use a shovel, you get like a negative like thing. 
because you're like disturbing the ashes or whatever it is, so. Forget how intense the torchless music is. Um I'll take that over the one emerald then, sure. Before we go, let's see what this curio is. Yeah. Wealth of course, we just got an emerald. Drop it. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. And then now we will camp. All right. A spark without kindling. Let's go ahead and use eight food. We'll should we should be okay. So no hunger proc. Yes. No. Yes. So two, maybe three. We can definitely do two, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and prevent nighttime ambush. Um, and we can increase our scouting chance, which is going to be good. Can't be marked. Armor piercing. No, no, no. Heal. Remove bleeding. Don't care. All companions. 20% HP. Oh, we're good on health, so we're just going to reduce the stress here. Okay. I think that's us good, so we'll go ahead and rest up. In Radiance, may we find victory. Shield breaker, right. <laughs> so how many people were waiting for this to happen? Um, whoops, I forgot about this. Well, at least we're going to get it out of the way, I suppose. Um... Oh, she's going to get so stressed from this. Um... Good dodge, thank you. Dazed, reeling, we may have to leave the dungeon because of this. Um, that is a that's so much blight, dude. Uh, oh, come on, no. Dude, this is bad. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know enough about these fights to know, like, what I need to prioritize. Um, oh, this is so annoying. Yeesh. Okay, that's one snake dead. These guys are brutal, dude. Jesus, she's gonna... Go, uh, she's getting afflicted. There's nothing I can do to stop it, dude. For death by inches. Impressive. There it is. Now, the true test. Hold fast. Uh. Expire. Come on, man. I totally forgot that that was even a thing. Oh, does she... Does she leave it if she goes afflicted? Oh, bro. I'm really... 
upset now. I forgot that that was a, a mechanic in this game. We're gonna take a shit ton of damage here. Oh, she's already on death's door. I think I have to leave, dude. I just don't think I can finish this at this point. Like, I, I, I don't have an effective way of healing her. I need the rest of the food I have. How disappointing, man. I mean, I, I just try to hope that we only have like one more fight or something. I don't know. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. I, I think we leave. I don't want to because I was really hoping to get a full video, like a full dungeon out of this, but I totally forgot that she has the nightmares. Um, and we, I can't deal with that. I have, uh, I can't lose. I really don't want to lose heroes right now. <laughs> oh man, I hate this game. How are we looking on loot, dude? And we have some. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have lost so much money by doing this if we go. And it's gonna put us in a really scary spot. Now we do have an antiquarian, and we have a full roster. So my thinking is that we'll at least be able to recover from this. We have some money, just not much. Um, we're going to have to get rid of her. I, I can't afford to cure uh, an, uh, cure this um, with stress healing. And I just don't. I mean, we could lose a hero by going into this fight, you know, and then we have a whole we have a whole other slew of issues if we lose a hero. I would need to get really lucky and be able to... Now, the other option would be to see if this is the last room fight, which I'm very doubtful that it is. And we could we could feed up to at least maybe enough to survive a hit or two and take the risk of the fight. Um, at least get some more loot out of it if we live. Um... And then just hope for the best. I totally, I'm just going to go for the fight. If we lose heroes, we lose heroes. I, but at least this way we can hopefully get some more loot. I'm so mad. I forgot about the, I, for, I completely forgot about that as like a mechanic. As long as I focus her, then I'm fine right now. We'll come out of this with way more stress than I would like, but okay. It's a good dodge. Yeah, she's she's gonna get way stressed. There's not much I can do about that. Dodge. Hmm. Unfortunate, but if he's focusing her, that's fine. This isn't for her as much as it is for everybody else on the team. But we, we pretty much resolved to, uh, to her not having, like, she's not gonna... We're not going to keep her on the roster. Uh, we have recovered a lot of our health. All right, so outside of a hunger check, which we can still get, we could potentially continue this dungeon.
little bit more food there. But a victory nonetheless. Oh man, I don't know. Do we keep going? A hunger proc would be pretty devastating to us right now, but we could always leave right after. If we suffer a heart attack, we suffer a heart attack, right? Like, we're getting rid of her either way. At this point, we just, I just gotta try, man. At least every hallway we get through is a hallway that could be the last one. We're in good conditions otherwise. We're getting lucky with the surprises too. Yeah, I mean, she, he's gonna focus the tempting goblet on her, right? Like, that's. We ain't stopping that from happening. Every time we fun, run into a, a, a fight, though, is a, is a much higher chance that this will be the last room. Enough to keep her in the game. One's dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay. Inspiration and improvement. Good dodge. We love that. Okay. Nice crit. Excuse me. A little burp there. Alright. Come on. This expedition uh. at least promises success. Oh, man. She's about to take a bunch of damage, too. We still have another room fight. And we and we can still get a hunger proc. We're, we're pretty likely to get a hunger proc at this point, I would say. I think we just have to call it. I think we've done really well with this as far as, like, continuing. I'm just worried we're going to get a hunger proc and just die immediately, but... The greedy part of me wants to keep going, so. Bandits. First time seeing bandits. This is a really nice fight to get. <laughs> yeah. She's probably gonna die. Um. This was a greedy fight. I should not have taken this. The dodge. And she denied that. Okay. is a bad thing, huh? Confusion. Okay. And panic. She's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. I think we leave after this. I would like to get out with some people survived. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. <laughs> I 
Don't die. You're fine. Don't have a heart attack. You're fine. Everything's fine. See? You're fine. Don't worry about it. Alright. Oy. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I think we I think we gotta leave at this point. I just don't think we can take it. Do not ruminate on this fleeting failure. The campaign is long. We uh we got a lot of stuff out of it. Will come. Beast Slayer, Stress Eater, Bloodthirsty. Okay. Hey, Bloodthirsty is good in Darkest Dungeon too, so. <laughs> a fresh right. irritant to some. Hey. Memory to me. Yeah, I think. I think we uh, we came out of that all right. I mean, we're back to 10,000 gold. We're okay. I think the next thing we're going to definitely aim to do is going to be just take an antiquarian, go do like a medium or sh even a short dungeon um, and try to recuperate some money. Because um, I think right now we've actually got... Uh, we could probably go ahead and upgrade the training regimen and the... This one might be a little tough, the furnace. But like, start getting these upgraded because getting the reduction of cost of this stuff is gonna save us so much money in the long run, right? Like, like a like a copious amount of money. So like, what do we need to do to get five portraits? I need three. So three portraits, get that upgraded, and then. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this one. Done. All right, even if I put all five of these up, that wouldn't get me there. But hey, you know, we still we still got one upgrade, and that's good. Like, so now everything on this is 20% cheaper, which makes a big difference when you're trying to get stuff upgraded and you're spending a lot of money on people. Um, so that's good. And our roster size is full. We have a Hellion. Yes, Hellion is like my favorite hero in this game. I freaking love the Hellion. Um, the only thing I'd probably change out here is I'd like to get Adrenaline Rush on her, but like Wicked Hack, Iron Swan, like she's she's a badass. She's a true badass. And we have to get rid of somebody anyway. We're gonna go ahead and, you know what I didn't do? I didn't take trinkets into that dungeon. Do we have any good trinkets? You know, probably enough that it would have made a difference, but I think we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the Shield Breaker. She's done her time. She is too stressed for us to deal with. And, broken. and that does give us the option to grab somebody talk. else. I will probably grab the Hellion because I think that she's just OP Barbaric as hell. <laughs> rage and unrelenting savagery make for a May ally. get rid of Tyrell as well. Though he does have, you know, investments in him, right? Again, sunk cost fallacy is a real deal. But I think that's going to go ahead and conclude this episode. So I do appreciate everybody for watching. Um... I didn't ask a question this episode, so, you know, I don't know. Just give me some tips, man. I don't know. What, sh what did I do wrong in that dungeon besides everything? <laughs> thanks all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. It super helps out. It lets me know that you like this kind of content, and I will continue to make it. And, uh, yeah, glad to be back from TwitchCon. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.